admit that the cooking is strange. But what do we care? We just want to be there. I'm on the range with you. So what if John does the cooking and Barbara does the stirring? We like what we see, so keep on occurring. I'm on the range with you. Stan the Trash Man is watching the scene and making real sure that everything's clean. Brother Robert is there, so you won't go anywhere. You better be all right because security is tight. Big Al telling folks they better laugh at his jokes. And Manuel and Ken are the other two men who help you get going so we can start showing. Home on the range, home on the range with you. So Barbara, don't be late. John Hurd has got to tape. Mama Jean's at the gate and you better not be late. The audience is waiting and anticipating. It's time to start the show and we really got to go too. Home on the range, I had a rough okay. night last night. I'm sorry. I okay. Had to wear the glasses. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a nice round of applause for your stars of at home in the Rangers, Barbara Venezzi and John Crean. Let's hear it. Yes! All right. All right. Oh boy. All right. Yeah. You know, hey, I, thanks so much. Gosh, what a really revved you know, up crowd. Al is getting weirder all the time. He Have is. you noticed? Have you folks he noticed is. that? You know, and he his eyes did not look good no. tonight. No, no, not at all. You don't suppose well, he's on something, do you? No, that would be an excuse we could use, though. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. We just seem to keep attracting these strange people. We, boy, we do. Dude, what's this we stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Well, why don't we cook? What, what are we going to well, do? Well, you know, I just want to let everyone know that we have our Breath Assure sponsors with us again this week. Yeah. That's right. And Breath Assure is the... Did they send a check? Yes, they did. In All fact, right. they paid right. ahead Here of time. All right. deranged home on the range fans to use breath assure so that no one comes over it's orgasmic <laughs> and you will have a lot of orgasms if you use breath assure <laughs> because then you will smell so good that people will just want to have sex with you you really think so i think so i, I think so this is great all you do is you take three capsules after you eat with water and then in 20 minutes, boom, bad breath is gone. I'll tell you, you know, that's got to read what's in that stuff. Okay, in this stuff, read it this. says Listen sunflower this. oil, parsley seed oil, and gelatin. No preservatives, no alcohol, no sugar, and no artificial colors or flavors. And, and all that oil keeps you regular. <laughs> so in 20, in 20 minutes, you're not going to be whatever. I mean. Well, it gets rid of anchovy breath, garlic breath, onion breath, even okay. morning breath so that you're nice and fresh. So we want you to get out there. You can buy it at all kinds of supermarkets and you can buy it at Long's Drug Stores. In fact, my cousin Johnny works for Long's and he said they can't keep it in the store. They are selling it out they so are. fast. They're selling a lot of it. There's a lot of people in Orange County with bad breath. Not anymore. Not, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't fresh, believe it. Breath, breath is sure. Not so many anymore. And then you know what else I got? We got to cook. This is a cooking show. Wait, I got this letter. All this right. is cooking related. Okay. All right. This came to us from, it's written on, from the Sons of Norway. Sons of Norway. Uh huh. My mother was born in Norway. Really? Yes. Okay. Well, it says, this is for the Sons of Norway, and it's Lynn Lendy, L-E-N-D-E, and it's a Norwegian person. And they <laughs> sent us this. What now, is I that? Now, I bet you don't know what this is. Okay. What is that? It says here, Place spoon in a pot while cooking any kind of beans. And the spoon will help take the gas out of the beans. Really? Yes, it says here the little farts will climb up the ladder and jump over <laughs> the side. Uh, I kid you not. I uh, kid you not. That's what it says. That's what it says. Barbara, where do you get it this says, stuff? And it I know says, it says it's that. It's a Norwegian bean spoon. You know what? not clever enough to make this stuff Where do you up. get this stuff? I can't it believe that. It says here, on a recent show, you made the statement that you did not like to put beans in your chili. The reason being that, and I'm sure I heard you correctly, it makes you fart. I, I didn't say that. I would never say that. No, remember? That's why I they don't let you put them in, in chili cook-offs, because then they have And that's not the fart. only F word I don't say. Okay. <laughs> it said here, this lady says, that I went to my garage and made you a foolproof spoon that will solve this problem. 
No need to have a dish for them to jump in as they will not splatter on the stove. Okay. So, this is what um, this person made. And I'm not sure can if I this start? is a man can I start? We, You know, we've got a lot of stuff to do. Let me, anyway, let me get started. Anyway, thank you. You know, people send me the strangest things. Tell them what we're cooking. Do you know what we're cooking? We are cooking an interracial dish. Very 90s. Very 90s. Italian enchiladas. And you know why, why we are? Why? Do you remember three or four weeks ago, we, went, we made uh, Mexican lasagna? Right. So now right. it's like kind of equal we time. We had complaints, yes. <laughs> we have complaints on more than that. But you know what? Do you want to see something else someone sent me? I can't hardly wait. Okay. <laughs> you know how I'm so into balls? This is... <laughs> you know? What was that? I am just a very sportsman kind of girl. Look at this. This is a rubber band ball. Yes. And somebody sat there and made all of this with rubber bands. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, all right. good catch. All right. Isn't that amazing? Just with rubber bands. Just with rubber bands. And what's so amazing is that they have all the same color. Because, like, when I get rubber bands, they're all different colors. So this person picked up all the But if they were different the colors, balls. that would be pretty, wouldn't it? If they were all different colors? I think blue balls is kind of neat. <laughs> All right. Okay. Man. Anyway, those are the Barbara, things that I got this month. You know, things have really changed. I can't believe it. You know, things are have so they? different. So different. You know, I have grandchildren. You do? Yeah, yeah. And you know How when many? My, oh, I've got a whole bunch of them. I've got them all ages. And you know, when my kids were, were, were young, you know, 19, 20, something like that, when they would be bad or something like that, I wouldn't let them use a car for a couple of days. Really? That's what I do to punish them. Now my kids have kids that are 19, 20 years old. You know what they do when they're bad? No. They won't let them sleep with their girlfriend for a couple of nights. <laughs> Boy, I mean, things have really changed. <clears throat> what are we doing? Is there anything for me to stir? There will be, and pretty soon. I mean, I got the urge to stir. These got, things smell so that, that's, bad. That's, I'm just going to put them next that's to the onion, that's, that's onion and garlic. Put some breath assure in there. It'll probably onion be good. Onion and garlic. Yeah. Okay. And then these are what? Peppers. These are bell peppers. Yeah, we got to put the bell peppers. Should I be putting any oil turn in it, this pan? Yes, and turn a fire on under it. Okay. So it'll get hot. Okay. Yeah. And how much oil should I put in this pan? Oh, just a little bit. Just a little Three bit. Three tablespoons full. Three okay. tablespoons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One. Two, three. Okay. Now, the recipe says you're supposed to chop all this stuff up in a blender, but we don't have a blender, so. No, that's too high tech. Maybe if we yeah. get another sponsor, we can get yeah. a blender. No, we're going to get another camera if we get another sponsor. Oh, okay. So we got three cameras. Maybe we should get a Cuisinart. We've you got know, a Cuisinart. I saw them on TV. We've got a Cuisinart. Where's my bowl? Why did you take my bowl? Because it stinks. Barbara, the pan will not get hot in well, midair. Well, I know, but what I was doing... <laughs> very funny. What I was doing is I was coating the pan with oil. If you could see it on my Busby Berkeley camera. Yes, I, I I'm can I'm coating see that. the pan with oil. You've got all this stuff in the way here. What? Are you having a You know problem? what I'm going to do? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slice... I love to slice I'm gonna, mushrooms. I'm going to... Yeah, I am. <laughs> Uh-oh. We're in trouble. These Why? are not fresh mushrooms. Oh, there. No, there they go. hard mushrooms? They're hard mushrooms, yeah. Wow. My little, my little Jim Dandy mushroom slicer, isn't that Well, keen? that's because they're cold. I mean, you could, like, bounce these. These things are, did you put these in the freezer? No. Did you wash these? They just these? come from the, yes, I did. In fact, I, I washed them. I think so. I washed them in front of this audience right here. You did? I came out here before the show, and I washed those. They saw me. I don't know. I'm still getting pooky stuff off of these. Well, hey. I don't eat the food anyway, All right. so have at it. And then, if you will, let me have my bowl back, because I'm going to put the tomatoes in and swish yes. it around so it'll pick up all that garlic. This is our transfer bowl. Yes. I like the way you name everything in the kitchen. But men have a way of doing that, you know, like they name inanimate objects. What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I don't know if there's someone in the audience with a dirty mind. 
was referring to their cars. The ca you know how men always name their cars? You never men find a woman that names men their don't, car. Men don't name cars. They do so, they name everything. Men also men name body either. parts too, which I never understood. Do they? Yeah. Oh, that is looking good. Let's Isn't put this that? in. Isn't that looking great? Oh, look at that. This, I think Just this is going to be a good. Just a symphony of color. This is going to be a good recipe. This is another one of those time life recipes. Oh, really? Boy, when we write our cookbook, we're sure going to get sued. You know what? Because <laughs> every recipe in it is going to be stolen. I know. Everyone. Yeah. Well, you know, I was a couple weeks ago. I was telling you that I was thinking of writing a book called A Stirring Success. But I haven't been able to come up with any chapter titles yet. I worked on it all day today, and I just, my mind was just blank. I don't know what was happening. Well, you can start out with what do you do with the can opener? Ah, here it is. Can opener's right there. I found it. It's even got it. your name on it. You know, there's only you and I in this kitchen. I don't think you have to write your name on the utensils. Somebody stole a spoon. That's right. Somebody did nab my spoon for a couple of weeks. You know, the and then recipe, it reappeared. The recipe calls for eight ounces of, of tomato sauce, but I don't think that's enough. No? No. Put more in. I'm going to put more in, yes. Okay. You know, these tomatoes are not really um, red. Stir. <laughs> they're kind of a peachy color. What happened to them? Well, they're... Because, like, just look, they don't match my nails, and usually they do. Oh, you're absolutely right. Let's take them out and put some, something else in. Should we? Oh, absolutely. They're okay. Barbara, stir. <laughs> oh. oh, boy. Wow. Okay, so we cook this till when? Till the, uh, till the uh, onions get limp. Limp? You understand limp. <laughs> All right. I'm not even going to touch that line. All right. I'm in enough trouble. Okay, limp. Now we nah. gotta put, we're, we're gonna put a quarter teaspoon of pepper, pepper and a quarter teaspoon full of, what is this? This is uh, orega oregano. That's very Italian, isn't it? Do you know that I went to this um, spa thing? Oh, oh, speaking of Italian, let me tell you this first. What? Did you know that the um, Villanova, who sponsors this show, yes. has started to have a Sunday brunch Really? Yes, and they've got a menu that's real cheap. Yeah, you can have a brunch there for almost little or nothing. Stir, Barbara. Oh. Uh. <clears throat> really? So how yes. long has they had the brunch now? Well, it just kind of started. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, we'll have to go check it out. Okay, now you were saying. Well, I, I actually got to see oregano, real oregano, not in, in, the, um, in the bottle. Oregano? Yes. What is oregano? This stuff, okay? I went to this. I know that stuff is. Okay, but... I went to this spa, and <clears throat> they grew their own herbs. Did they? Yes, in a garden. And I went out, and the man showed me what oregano looked like if it wasn't in a bottle. Really? Uh huh. <laughs> <clears throat> and I was just amazed. And you know what? There was like thirty other women in this group, and I was the only one that had never seen oregano not in a bottle. Really? Yes. And then someone said, oh, I can't believe that because I do a cooking show. <laughs> but then again, <laughs> they had only heard a rumor I do a cooking show. <laughs> you know, They've never I, actually seen it. When I was a teenager, I used to smoke oregano. It wasn't bad. <laughs> really? Okay, well, now, what happens when, like, everything goes limp? In including the um, tomatoes and... <laughs> everything goes limp, you just get up and go home. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> no. No, all right. No, I'm getting a lot of stuff to, uh, prepared over here. you had a nap today or you're overtired? <laughs> I don't know. I am very tired. I am. Okay, what's that? This is cottage cheese. Cottage cheese. Yeah. We get, this has got a, What happened to my bowl? Oh. <laughs> well, no one can see it there. All right. Okay, so that's cottage cheese. Is cottage this cheese. low fat cottage cheese? Low, it is. It is actually low fat cottage it cheese. It is. Okay, okay. I hate to use that, but it is. So is this that a low cal dish? No, it isn't. It's a very high cal. High, oh, okay. High, high cal dish. 
All right. Well, hey, I think this is done. Look. Keep stirring. You Keep sure? Stirring. Keep stirring. Yeah. Let's turn the fire down a little bit. I think though. you're just keeping me here so I won't get in your way. I think these are really overcooked. <laughs> she figured that out. <laughs> Very funny. Okay. Okay, so I'm stirring I, no. and stirring. What are you doing over there? We're putting a half a teaspoonful of oregano and basil uh -huh. and pepper in the cottage cheese. Then we did the same in the, in the uh, uh, tomato sauce. Uh-huh. So we've got all that used now. Okay. I'm put that over here, see, so we don't use it You're twice. You're so organized tonight. Do you think you won't forget something? Well, I always do forget something, though. All right. Now we're supposed to stir this up. Uh-huh. Now I'm going to bring the tomato sauce over there. Now, how are we going to do this? Don't ask me. Yeah. I'm just the stirrer. <laughs> we'll just, no, we're going to put that in a bowl. We, we are. We're going to put this stuff in a bowl. I don't like the way that looks. Okay. That's cottage cheese and... Uh, looks like it's got ashes in it. That's oregano and uh, basil and pepper. Okay, so we put this in a bowl. Now what's next? We're going we're gonna to assemble these puppies. Okay. And we're going to put them in a baking pan. Well, we've got we to gotta paint, we gotta paint the, uh, some okay, of this on Okay, but you can't on, on see here. it there. You can't. What can no. we do? Move them over. Like, put them here and then slap them on so the Busby Berkeley okay. camera right. can see Okay, all right. Okay. Okay, can you hold that? Just hold sure. that in your, in your little hand there. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll put some of that on. And then what happened? Here it is. And we put some of this on. Okay, how you doing? I, I don't know. Right. Now we got to get a spoon here. Are you sure this is right? Absolutely sure it's right. Okay. Now, are you going to be able to uh, roll that up and lay it in this pan? Seam okay. side down. Seam side yes. down. Yes. Oh, my God, think about this. Okay. So we're going to go like this. She's going to do it. And then we're going to put it seam Terrific. side down. You're doing great. Okay, hold on. That's a good job. We don't want to use that one. We don't want to use that one. We got to do this eight times. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, this is definitely a recipe that you would need help with. I would need help. Who would need help? Well, how could you do this? You only have two hands, and you need four hands. No, I would see. I would lay that tortilla down on the on a counter and do it. Uh -huh. And it would probably stay a lot stiller and it would be a lot easier. Because <laughs> I'd lay all eight of them down. Oh, well, I am going to become an expert tortilla flipper, so you don't I have can, to worry. I can, I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. You got it? Okay, okay, okay. Well, maybe I'd like to make one of my own. You think you could? Really? I don't know. Huh? You think you could? I think so. Let's have a race. I'll make one, you make one. How's that? Okay. Huh? You know what you could also do? Just kind of fold them this way. Well, no, maybe not. The recipe says you roll them up okay. and it seam side down. Okay. Now, have you're you gonna, measured your... this pan so that all no, of them fit here? No, I, I haven't. I don't have any idea what's going to happen. Oh, okay. Can I continue to assemble? Um, Are we rolling? Are we assemble? rolling? Okay. So I'm assembling this for all of you at home that would like to attempt this. Okay. And flip it in there. Oh, well, you're doing okay. good. Now do you want to do one all by yourself? Yes. No, right. But I think you did the math wrong. Did I? Yes. Why? Because I don't think we're going to have, I think we're going to have too much left over. We are. Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think so. And look, if you put enough on, then you can just go like this. <laughs> I bet you made well, a lot of mud pies when you were a little girl, didn't you? Um, well, cooking was never my strong point. Okay, and then you add this to it. Well, see, this is a cooking tip so that you could just slide it, you know, the ingredients in it. You're throwing them all over the stove. Oh, Barbara. sorry. Okay, and then you just kind of... Okay. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> now. That one's not upside down. No, that's upside. Oh, no, it's not upside down. Okay, wait. Now, don't mess it, Bart. We're, we're, let's stop while we're ahead. Okay. Because we're doing very well. We really are. Now, we're going to put this on here, see? Uh-huh. Like this. How about Ooh. that, huh? Doesn't that look good? Does that look very Italian? It looks Italian, I now, think. This, now, I have over here some cheese 
What was that? I don't know. Oh, the oven. Oh, the it oven. Got, it okay. Got, I, th I thought we were being invaded. Now, this is a mixture of mozzarella and, and uh, parmesan. Mozzarella and parmesan yes. cheese. Now, let's try to spread it a little evenly, you know, kind of evenly on there, huh? I am. Oh, you're doing a wonderful job. Okay. How come parmesan cheese? We ought to put some Breathisher on that parmesan cheese. Yeah. That's a little. It smells. Now, now, what are we going to do for the okay, 10 minutes so of that? Okay, so now this goes in the oven? This goes in the oven for 10 minutes. Well, why don't you just put Would it on broil? Kindly open the oven. And we'll put it in. Close the oven now. See how good I do this? No, Maybe now I can we, now get we a job gotta, on the prices right. I bet you could. I bet you could. You know, Vanna's getting a little up there in years, you know. You're probably I know. Can, but I don't think I could turn the letters as good as she does. I mean, that's kind of a thing, you know. Now, what are we going to do? Look at this mess. I'm cleaning it up. Ugh, this is and, disgusting. And you threw this stuff all over the stove right No, here, that was your side. Now, what are we going to do for 10 minutes while that's cooking? I don't know. How was your day? Terrible. Why? What I, did you I do was, today? I was in the big city. I was in Los Angeles. You were? Yeah. Like, did anyone recognize you as a star? You know, people do. People see this dumb show. And it was really... <laughs> It was really embarrassing because I was at a thing where they had a bunch of ladies. It was an assistant league, assistance league thing. Uh huh. And these ladies were telling me how they saw the show, and it's on at 11:30 in Los Angeles. Uh huh. Late night and TV. And they was, they, they were saying they would, they would turn it on and they would go to bed with me. <laughs> I bet that's you never they, slept with so many women before. That's what before. they said. That's what they said. Really? Yeah. So like you're getting your own kind of groupies out there. Well, these ladies, yeah, they, yeah, they're kind of my own kind of groupies. These ladies were very old. Oh, I'm sure that they're going to be glad to hear this if they're watching. <laughs> oh, they'll probably see this, won't they? <laughs> oh. But they look great. They did look great. <laughs> oh, yeah, they did. They look great. We did look great. Me. Okay. <clears throat> I'll right. tell you, you are forever a good politician. You really right. are. Okay. There it is. The mozzarella is melted and everything. Uh -huh. And look, it's boiling down there. Doesn't that look good? Hmm. Wow. Okay, another successful dish. All right. We're out of here. Okay. Boy, that does look good. You know what? It actually I'm gonna, does. Woo! I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move the olives around a little bit. Move them there. Well, doesn't that look good, though? Huh? This actually doesn't look bad. Boy. I think I may actually taste this. Yeah. Hey Barbara and John at home on the range, you gotta admit that the cooking is strange, but what do we care, we just want to be there. At home on the range with you. So what if John does the cooking and Barbara does the stirring, we like what we see, so keep on occurring. At home on the range with you. You know, we cooked him some dog food right here on the show. Jack the dog is a celebrity now. We have to cook him a different kind of chow. Our relatives from Anaheim are coming in tonight. They're gonna clap and cheer for us and do what's ever right. They always come to see us whenever they're in town. We like to have our relatives from Anaheim around. Stand the trash man is watching the scene and making real sure that everything's clean. Brother Robert is there. You won't go anywhere. You better be all right because security is tight. Big Al telling folks they better laugh at his jokes. And Manuel and Ken are the other two men who help you get going so we can start showing. Oh, 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 oh.